we had a humongous women's basketball game just yesterday, actually. Uh, Iowa versus LSU. So mm -hmm. Paul's telling me that's the rematch from uh, the championship game last year. Yeah. Um, and let's fucking find out. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, still, by the way, though, to be clear, that was that was still one of the most iconic moments I think we've had in. I yeah. guess modern women's basketball with the taunting back and forth, yep. the reaction okay, online. Happened. Make sure you're talking about in the mic, brother. Nothing's happening in the WNBA, but um, yeah, bro, so, almost, yeah. almost ever in college basketball. If college women's basketball is not a very popular sport either, um, so this really did put it on a different map. It kind of created, it gave them personality. You know what yeah. I mean? It kind of made you buy into characters in a way, and it just so happens to be both these ladies have huge talent to back it up. So they're they work themselves right back into a position where they're playing for heavy stakes in a final four game. Um, so this time, obviously, uh, Kate and Caitlin Clark, if you didn't see, and the uh, Iowa Hawkeyes, they came out on top against LSU. And um, I didn't know. Okay. Well, I'm glad to inform yep. you, brother, here. Um, and yeah, so Caitlin Clark balled out. Yeah, she went crazy. Last crazy. kind of just came out of nowhere with it. Yeah, well, she did ball her first year. She scored like twenty five right. points her yeah. first year. But like, but the thing is, to your point well, earlier, people right. don't really give a fuck about. Yeah. yeah well, so something like this had to happen for us to really buy in. She turned around this year and then she bro, scored the most points yeah, she, at all time in college basketball. basketball. Just yeah. college basketball, period. Yeah, not men or women. Yeah. yeah. She's so her all first time. year. Yeah, her <laughs> first year she had like twenty five points. She's a game. unbelievable, bro. And she's pulling up from the logo. Just yeah, she's going crazy. Steph Curry, yeah. bro, bro, she, yeah, she, she she's doing full court passes for assist, bro. She she is legitimately that great of a basketball player. You know, they, it's incredible. Eighty seven to ninety four was the uh, college sport, and bro. women's college basketball. Ninety four, eighty seven. Steph came a long way. They got they had to have a female match it. You know, oh, yeah. made the game and the game needs some excitement. You know, Disney writes uh, the, <laughs> writes March Madness. <laughs> Yeah. Disney rights March Madness. So well, they, had to, they had to uh, do the fucking DEI bullshit and obviously fucking have a woman, Steph Curry, recast his ass. Yeah, right, she did right. go crazy though. 41 points, 12 assists. Yeah, she's dirty. Seven rebounds. She's disgusting. It, it, yeah, that's, it, that's dumb. 12 assists. Yeah. I Bro, she, she's all around. She's she about to be must watch TV. Bro, she she is. That, that's that's yeah, the thing. So, I'm going to start watching. So, she Ken, do, do, do you remember the big three Ice Cube's basketball league? He came out, offered her five million dollars to play in it. It's I know games. he offered her something. Oh, it's God. ten games, five million dollars. Now, to to put that in perspective, to the WNBA, their salary caps are like yeah. one point seven million dollars. You're talking about her making more money than than the entire team times two, three. Did she turn it down? I, I they well, she's still playing, so she says she's not making any decision on that until she's done playing. Till her, hey, she's hey, done. Shoot. he said, hey, I'm coming. Hey, it's, I don't think she's gonna do that personally. Bro, yeah. what but why not? Uh, the WNBA ain't going to turn you away because you're playing big three. Again, she is bringing eyes. I think yeah. that that salary cast will go up just because eyes are drawn. Basketball fans yeah. are over a lot of basketball fans now or don't care about the gender. We only care about good basketball. So if it's good basketball, they're gonna watch it. And women's sports, yeah. just like right here, like like Mongo Teddy, what what he brought around in the in Charlotte County for uh for girls basketball. Now that is like bigger than Pop Warner football. The the girls the, the, the girls basketball league. Mm. They go national tournaments, they have different branches now. And you're talking about this area has girls playing all around the country now and girls going to play college basketball, and it's they're better isn't, than guys. Isn't at times. that isn't that kind yeah. of anecdotal though? Like we're talking about, like we have a good team here. So I mean, that's not necessarily what do you mean? Well, because we have a good team here. Uh, of female basketball or whatever, I think that's that's why I want you to explain. If I'm, maybe I'm well, not misunderstanding. Well, what, what, it doesn't mean that female basketball necessarily is like at the level of what, what, male so, basketball well, because our females here are better than our men, men here. So what what I what I get that, but what I'm pointing yeah. out is that here in a smallish again like like a hundred thousand or less town, mm -hmm. hundred thousand people or less, um, we have a youth a girls youth basketball program that is now at the same level of what boys AAU has always been. Right. Yeah. So in the Miami and the Tampa and the Jacksonville and Orlando's, you're looking at the same thing. Girls basketball is now no longer just looked at as girls is out there playing, trying to be like the boys. No, these girls are, are being yeah. skillfully trained. They're not the bro. Watch it. And then the shot. I think it mostly is though. I think it mostly is yeah. that I think why this stands out is because these are instances really only with Caitlin. We're not really saying this with Angel, Angel Reese, because the type of position she plays is too physical to even imagine her 
playing with but, men. But Angel Reese also um, has 16 points with 20 rebounds. She had seven. Do you think that she would do that against men? I don't think she'll have 20 rebounds, Fuck but no. I think she's going to go in yeah. and get some boards. Bro, bro. <laughs> At least right, we just yeah, had a six, eight, a six eight player and Angel Reese is I think like six six like, like they have size like and they're and they're athletic they're yeah. athletic too and then and then it's not just uh Caitlin Clark had this with Brittany Griner and she said no well again uh she said no thank you Brittany again it's no. not and, and it's not just the day when uh, she was coming out of college that was kind of the she was the I think she was one of the first women I remember and correct me if I'm wrong where it was like she maybe could possibly play she's still with Oh yeah, she's balling. She's back in the WNBA and shit. Like, like again, or if we're if we're looking at would they be an all star player in the NBA? No, but could they yeah. do just as much as what the last guy on the roster is doing? Mm. I think it's up to see what the hell they could do. Yeah, but Caitlin doesn't that Clark, speak though, to the disparity in talent? Because you're the thing. This is what I'm pushing back on. You're representing it as if there's like a it's like a it's close, and I think it's not. I, I, I'm, I'm not, even I'm not saying good. talent. I'm saying yeah. go ahead. Say what you're saying. I think it'll be different because Make sure you're in there, brother. If uh. Some female made it to the, the um, <clears throat> WNBA team. I mean, the NBA team or something yeah. like that. Last person off the bench, where they're gonna super guard her. Like <laughs> she ain't gonna be able to. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it'd be like loose from anything. Maybe it'd be no, like when you play the. Do you ever play a girl when you play football? I don't know if you did. I played. She had a girl on my team. Le, yeah. le, uh, LA. It would be I mean, it, it, some, some people on my team. Yeah. Sometimes people would have a hard time with that. Like, nah, I had, she was I had a girl on my yeah. team. I think she. Kick her or something. No, I, I really don't remember. LA played linebacker and running back, back up for both, but she was raw. <laughs> Good thing, you know, I'm sorry. It's a wild, wild, uh, wild young lady. But, uh, uh, but no, uh, uh, but it's not necessarily that the talent's the same. It's that mm -hmm. the quality of basketball that you're watching is not bad basketball. You're looking at a okay. two girls okay. teams going 94 to 87. Like that's a lot of scoring. Yeah. And it's not just that one girl went off. It's that hey, no. The whole team can play. Yeah. South Carolina, bro, mm -hmm. all the all five of them can ball. But you put it's, them on the team, or you put them against some guys. But, They're going balls out, trying not to let them score. Yeah, I'm not but, saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying it might be yeah. an embarrassment on the guys' behalf or, or whatever yeah. the case may be. But you yeah. put some some girls, some females out there against some guys. Mm -hmm. The guys are trying to show out. Okay, so are we talking just guys, or, or we're talking about NBA versus I mean, WNBA, I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, I get that. Same but, level. But I'm not even talking about them playing against each other. I'm talking about just the. What I'm saying is that the WNBA salary cap right now, being as low as it is, is going to go up just because the quality of basketball that we're getting into the WNBA from these college girls is a better brand of basketball than what we've seen in the years past. So more eyes are on it. Social media has expanded it. Hypothetically, maybe. I, don't, yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking about is you're projecting and it's a yeah. hypothetical. So, I mean, maybe that would happen. But, like, I'm speaking from the evidence that we have right now. I don't think it's the same quality of basketball. I don't think they're nearly as athletic. I don't think you're saying that. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think in any way – uh it's scratching the surface of what like the nba is doing and i mean college basketball is a little bit closer for sure but this game itself is an anomaly like how excited that's why it was that's why it's so important because it's an anomaly people don't get this excited this is the final fucking four right. this is like the first game that i've heard like everybody get on the same page with so it's like other than that it's very sparse coverage because you know why March Madness with the guys are happening yeah. and fucking Zach Eadie's over okay. here fucking so, the double double. So so two so two things yeah, I want to say. Please. One, can we look up the viewership of the girls' March Madness? Okay. Okay. And two, it both things can be true that the mm -hmm. NBA is always going to be more popular than the WNBA, and that the WNBA is going to gain in popularity. It doesn't yeah. have to be apples to uh, well, like I'm, apples and I, but I'm also and pushing back cap. specifically on your quality stance. I think that's. It's not, not bad true. quality basketball. But to say it's bad quality is not to say it's in the same fucking spectrum no, as but what it, the NBA. But you're still going, watching elite good basketball. Insane. You're yeah, you're, you're watching okay. good yeah. spacing. You're watching okay. good plays. You're watching it's girls bad, actually. How, the, how many like, people, especially normal people who who might not have played basketball, how many people understand that? Good spacing. Um, I I think more and more, especially with more and more basketball podcast basketball clips on social media again social media is is expanding a lot of honestly knowledge and understanding and a lot of things for people so that's where again, i think it's gain it's, it's going to gain now i'm saying that to 